today we are discussing about the correlation coefficient in the previous video we are discussed the scatter diagram it is one of the method of measuring correlation now another method is correlation coefficient there are two types of correlation coefficient one is carl pearson's correlation coefficient and other is spearman's rank correlation coefficient In this video we are discussing about the Carl Pearson's correlation coefficient. Carl Pearson is a famous statistician. He introduced the coefficient of correlation known as Carl Pearson's coefficient of correlation. It is defined as it is denoted as r or gamma and defined as r is equal to covariance xy divided by standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y that is covariance of xy divided by sigma x into sigma y now we can uh, see the formula for finding correlation coefficient r is equal to 1 by n sigma x minus x bar into y minus y bar divided by root of 1 by n sigma x minus x bar the whole square into y minus y bar the whole square This formula can be simplified as the following is correlation coefficient gamma is equal to n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y divided by n root of n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into root of n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square this is the formula for finding carl pearson's correlation coefficient that is carl pearson's correlation coefficient r x y is equal to covariance x y divided by sigma x into sigma y is equal to n sigma x y minus sigma x into sigma y divided by okay now we can find a the solution of a question look at this question we have two variables and to find the correlation coefficient first we prepare a 5 column table it contains x y x square y square and x y now the values of x and y are 12 14 9 8 8 6 10 9 11 11 13 12 7 3 now we can find x square tall square is 144 9 square 81 8 square 64 10 square 100 11 square 121 13 square 169 7 square 49 now y square 14 square 196 8 square 64 6 square 
36 9 square 81 11 square on 21 12 square on 44 3 square 9 now xy 12 into 14 on 68 9 into 8 72 8 into 6 48 turn into 9 90 11 into 11 on 21 13 into 12 on 56 and 7 into 3 21 now we can add this x y x square y square and x y we get sigma x is equal to 70 sigma y is equal to 63 sigma x square is equal to 728 sigma y square is equal to 651 and sigma xy is equal to 676 we can put these values in the formula to find the correlation coefficient the formula is correlation coefficient is equal to n sigma xy minus sigma x into sigma y divided by root of n sigma x square minus sigma x the whole square into root of n sigma y square minus sigma y the whole square substituting the values we get here n is equal to 7 so 7 into 676 minus 70 into 63 divided by root of 7 into 728 minus 70 square into root of 7 into 651 minus 63 square look at the simplification of the problem it is 4 7 3 2 minus 4 4 1 0 divided by root of 5096 minus 4900 into root of 4557 minus 3969 on simplification we get 322 divided by root of 196 into root of 588 is equal to 322 divided by 339.48 and is equal to 0.95 this is a high positive correlation so here x and y have a high positive correlation so this is the method for finding correlation coefficient now uh, we can discuss about the properties of this correlation coefficient properties of correlation coefficient Look at these properties of correlation coefficient in your textbook. Now, one co co coefficient of correlation takes any value from minus 1 to plus 1, that is, minus 1 less than or equal to r less than or equal to 1. The second property is the magnitude of the co coefficient of correlation is unaltered if a constant is added to both or one variable or a constant is subtracted from one or both variables and it is unaltered when the values of one variable or both variables are multiplied or divided by a constant one value or two value or good or anything like that will be correct or anything like that correlation coefficient is not there 
അതുപോലെ ഗുണിച്ചാലോ ഹരിച്ചാലോ കോർലേഷൻ കോയഫിഷൻ്റെ അത് ബാധിക്കുന്നില്ല മൂന്നാമത്തെ പ്രത്യേകത കോർലേഷൻ കോയഫിഷൻ്റെ സിമെട്രിക് വിത്ത് റെസ്പെക്ട് ടു ദി വേരിയബിൾസ് ദറ്റ് ഈസ് ആർ എക്സ് വൈ ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ആർ വൈ എക്സ് ആൻഡ് ദ ലാസ്റ്റ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഈസ് കോർലേഷൻ കോയഫിഷൻ്റെ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ടു ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻറ്റ് വേരിയബിൾസ് ഈസ് സീറോ but the converse need not be true okay these are the properties of correlation coefficient and now we are at the end of the carl pearson's correlation coefficient